start there for Campbell right on the inside. And now Tiam starting to come through. Kalin also going very well for Switzerland in the red. And now she's leading with Vitz chasing her.
here goes. Carlin, Sulek and Bits, those in particular who are battling. So the uh, Swiss Carlin, 5.604 after six events. Her lifetime best, 2.17 from Gutsis, the specialist hypometing three years ago. Very close, just a tenth off that in Eugene, where she set a new national record. So if she achieves that lifetime best, she'll get 6,463 points. But Sulek, maybe she can go a few seconds faster. 207.18 in UG. So 10 seconds on paper. So that's why my prediction is that Sulek is the favorite to be lifted up into that silver spot. And uh, Vids, just maybe she can challenge also. We've got Bianca Salming out front there, who's uh, developing into a great international heptathlete. But uh, with some strengths, clearly, in the high jump and the javelin and some other events to work on. So 63-43 uh, as they came through the bell. Just having a look here at the prediction. So Carlin still in a good position and uh, fairly close behind Sulek, who's the first of the two Polish runners in the red and white but so, so close. At this point, uh, you can see 60 points separating. Krishan also doing well, coming in in sixth place overall. And she needs to be nine seconds ahead of uh, Sulek to try and get a medal. Carlin the more likely to drop down. We'll see how she hangs on on this second lap. Certainly that gap remaining around the same with uh, Fitz. Also trying to move up. Nafi Tiam, well, she can afford to job home, to be honest. But Sulek now going to come through. Carlin trying to summon some strength and some fight to hold on to her medal. Great performance, though, from Adriana Sulek, who's had a terrific season. Yeah, so Nafi Tiam is now a two-time Olympic, two-time world and two-time European champion. Simply incredible.